and bring your hands onto the kind of the pelvis. So my fingers are facing forward and my thumb is just kind of um, behind on the on the pel pelvis. So I'm just going to show you this from from beside from the side and see if you can begin to round the back, letting the elbows come forward. And then you think of arching the back, taking the elbows towards each other behind you. Now, just pause for a moment. You all, all know um, in this class, uh, it's important to try and keep your shoulders over the hips. So it's not this, and, and nor is it this, the shoulders travelling forward and back. So you're trying to keep the outer shoulder over the outer outer hips. And it's our arching and curling effectively, isn't it? So but as you curl round the back, um, looking down, the elbows come forward. And as you arch the back, Take the elbows, the shoulder blades together behind you. That's it, as you look slightly up. So you're rounding, rounding the back, looking down, keeping the shoulders over the hips. And of course, to arch the back, you have to think of the lower tummy pushing out and down, the breastbone lifting slightly, as the shoulder blades come together and the elbows go back behind you. So just doing a few more of these and just see if you can bring some attention to the feet. So do you get a slight sense that as you arch the back, it's almost as though the feet are dragging back on the floor. They're not moving, but as though you're dragging the floor behind you and that helps to arch the back because it's activating some of the muscles at the back of the leg, the hamstring muscles. And as you round the back, think of as so you're pushing down and forward into the feet. So as the as you're arching the elbows coming together, it's as though you're dragging the floor behind you. And as you're rounding the back, it's as though you're pushing the floor forward, forward. Good. So let's just do one more. Arching and rounding. Good. And then just pause, just have a rest for a moment. Now I just wanted to show you something on this on the screen. Here's a side view of you of kind of sitting sitting on your sit bones those little rockers at the base of the spine and you've got your two sit bones so side view as you're rounding the back the weight is coming to the back of those rockers as you're arching the back the weight is shifting to the front of those sit bones. So rounding to the back, arching to the front of the of the sit bones. And there that's more or less in the middle of the of the sit bones. And really that's really what I just so we're just going to repeat that arching and curling. Arching and curling. Now we've got used to the movement. See if you can again round the back, pushing the floor away, elbows forward, looking down. Feel how the weight has rolled to the back of your two sit bones. As you arch the back, dragging the floor with the feet, elbows together, looking slightly up. You've um, come to the front of the sit bones. Just do one or two more your own time, so you can just pay attention to how the weight shifts to a different part of the sit bone. 
and then pause for a moment, rest your chin if possible on the breastbone, on the breastbone, so you lower the chin and see if you can keep it there as you round and arch the back. So you're keeping the chin down as you round and arch the back in the way that we've just been exploring. Just a few of those movements. And then pause, let the head come away from the, from the breastbone. And see if you can now begin to look, look down as you arch the back with the head and eyes and look up as you round the back. So you're looking down with the head and eyes as you arch the back and looking up with the head and eyes as you round the back. That's, I really don't like this position. It's one I used to do a lot when I was in my early legal days. That sitting at a desk, computer, shortening the neck, slumping the back. You'll see a lot of people do, do, do this is kind of default position. So just once more, looking down as you arch the back and looking up as you round the back and then leave that alone and return to the integrated movement so that you're looking up as you arch the back and then looking down as you round the back. Again, looking up as you arch and looking down as you round. Oh, it feels so much nicer, doesn't it, when you integrate the movement of the head and eyes um, with the movement of the, of the pelvis.